All right, guys, before today's episode, just a wee reminder that we have live shows on sale now. We'll be doing Some Laugh Live at two dates during the Edinburgh Festival this August. And mm-hmm. we'll also be in London on the 9th of September doing the London Podcast Festival. And tickets are on sale now. Yes. You can sign up to Patreon as well. Yes. For as little as £3 a month, you can sign up to the Patreon where you will get first dibs on tickets for the live shows as well as an extra episode every two weeks and bonus content from our previous live shows at the Glee in the Stand and we'll be recording the ones coming up. Yes, there's and also just hours of stuff that we've got on there from the backlog. Up. Yeah, back. backlog. and you're supporting the boys, you're helping us make more of these. Helping us maintain mm. and grow. The and we podcast. let our guard down a little on Patreon, don't we? It's loosey goosey over there. Oh, yes. We, uh, we play fast and loose. Yeah, exactly. We'll say some stuff it's we don't say in the public. It. It's just, oh, the, the Nothing gloss. cancelable, sure, but. No, you we're, know. we're not like that. No, but, you know. You know but what we saying. might talk about shagging. <laughs> we may, for example, we may for example. Not, you know. Um, we are also all doing shows at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2023, all doing stand up as yes. well as our two um live podcasts. Mm-hmm. Marco, when are you on? I'm on at 10 to 6 every night at the Tron with Monkey Barrel Comedy. Clashing with me, I'm on at quarter to six every day at Monkey Barrel Comedy. I'm at Monkey Barrel 2. I'm Stevie, on at half one in the afternoon, Monkey Barrel 2. From the 2nd to the 27th. Come along, please. We always like to see listeners at the live gigs, don't we, boys? Yes. yes love it. It's nice. Hope to see you there, guys. And enjoy today's episode. Enjoy. Enjoy the app. Welcome to the Some Laugh Podcast. It could be like, oh, that was some laugh, or there was just some, some laugh. Some laugh. Well, could. no promise in all laugh. No, <laughs> it's, it's, there's going to be some. It's some laugh. So did you both take a shot at hosting that I weekend? didn't. Did? I fucking did. I did. And Keely did. Alex Keely did. Uh huh. How did you get on, then, Steve? So I got away with it. You were a charming young man. Thank he you. did all the all the things. Like he sort of played the older woman in the room. Yeah. Like oh, no, you don't do look that. over. 21. He's good with the mums. Like yeah. yeah, it was very much <laughs> like favourite. Yes. Yeah. It was that kid at the birthday party that's like, do yeah. you need any help putting out the dishes, Linda? <laughs> like that sort of vibe. Like yeah, oh, we're playing past the parcel. Let's put the wrapping paper away immediately so nothing gets lost. Like <laughs> it was very so. Like yeah, he's a little prince. Thank like you. he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That'd be a good do show not, title for you. I think. A little prince. Well, because so that's Bonnie Prince Charming. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I always that for myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but Helen's got loads of. You've got categories for different people. I categorised all the comics. Yeah, so oh, I'm God. I'm in the Little Prince category. Uh-huh. What would you say these guys are? This is terrifying. To me. <laughs> Don't you feel this is like three little princes. Yeah, that's nice. I would Do you not, say so. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what the other the word are. little, but apart from that, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, slightly bigger prince. Oh, like options. Prince. You've got like little prince. You've got head boy, head girl. You've got war boy. You've got war chaos boy. slut. You've got. Big thicko. I'm a big thicko. Um, I've got Edgelord, obviously. I think I'm chaos, like. <laughs> Are you? Do you uh, tweet things like, just sat in your dad's face and he fucking loved it? Anyway, no, come I to do my show. Thank them. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you're one of the least chaotic people. No, probably yeah. not chaotic. You're not yeah. chaotic at all. <laughs> no, you are <laughs> slutty, but you're not, <laughs> you're not chaotic. Not anymore. I'm, I'm trying to... Yeah, not but that the little prince well. vibe is you can go on stage and you can say anything and everyone goes, aww. That's him. Um, that's yeah. me. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. Sometimes I look cute. I think I can. I can either have the ability to look really cute or like a fucking goblin. See when I wake up hungover, it's, <laughs> it's unsightly. You don't want to. But see a it. cute goblin, you've got like a very adorable <laughs> troll vibe. Yeah. It's sort of like, oh, you see him. Really cute. You go to bed with the prince and wake up with a frog. <laughs> frog. <laughs> I knew that was coming. So and women you... fucking love that, by the way. Frogs? Waking up with a frog. Yeah, we fucking <laughs> so sick. <laughs> can I just sort of hop away for you? You know. Yeah. Well, it's the ideal tongue, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Straight on the mark. Like <laughs> fucking sick. Like, no one's searching for a clit in that situation. <laughs> You're doing well not to find it. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone's kissing these frogs. It's like, leave it alone. Like, <laughs> the aim's going to get worse. <laughs> so see these categories, do they apply to comedians or is it, is it a universal? Oh, it's just for human... comedians. Right? Yeah. yeah. I just thought it'd be easier to think of everyone in groups. Uh-huh. So like, some of them are really clear. Like war boys are sort of like they're anyone that goes on stage and everyone that buys a ticket to go to see them like definitely has like three Hitler biographies at home. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Hey. Right. So we're talking like, Ivo Graham. Ivo Graham, <laughs> Phil Wang, oh, Pierre right. Novelli, 
Um, yeah, private like, school people. Not necessarily private school. Smart just cunts. like <laughs> people yeah. that read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people that read. Yeah. And then big thicko, which is category I'm in. We sort of like go on stage and we're like, Ugh! and the audience are like, oh my god. Like, like, <laughs> well, I'm surprised you didn't host that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It like... I think big thicko is a good host. natural host. You think natural a big thicko is a good host, yeah. but I'm just too like. Ugh! And they're like, oh, okay, all right, love. Like need, no one. <laughs> you need somebody to say the rules as well, like. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Someone that can hold it together. Like a head boy or a head girl is a great host. Yes. Yeah. So your head boys would be... Yeah, who's that? Your head boys and your head girls. Oh, my God. So we've got like, you know, your Catherine Bohart. Sure. Um, I said Kiri Pretchard mclean Amazing. Sure. Zoe Lyons. Mm. Um like Rich Wilson, like okay. they hold it together, really funny, really high gag ray, charming. Would you say you would be a head boy? Yeah, I, I don't think know. you've got a bit of head boy about you. I think just because you organise the podcast this for us is and stuff. You are a head, head boy. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, a head, head I'm a head boy of this podcast. <laughs> In my head, I was thinking that head boys overlapping with the war, war boy, boy thing, cause you're, but are you just, I suppose head boys, just somebody that goes and does the job. And is just but a like, fucking like, pro. So uh -huh. yeah, really funny, really professional, and can sort of like bring any room together. Right. Whereas a big thicko, mm. it's just sort of like I mean, a big thicko is like I've done that many times, and I'm like, Ugh! and the audience is like, no, no, no. And I'm like, oh, no, we've like, got Hitler biographies. I don't know what this. Is. I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> I think I would love to be a war boy. Like that would be my dream because I'm so into war at the moment. Yeah, well, this I'm is almost the first thing it. you said in the car. Yeah, did I? Well, yeah, the one says about Auschwitz. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm obsessed with it. So, what, what's your favourite war? What uh, what's your favourite battle? World what's your favourite battle? Six. World War Six. Hmm? That's what we're in right now, apparently. Is it? That's Is that what right? I've been told. Yeah. What was uh, Is three through five? Um, <sighs> this is going to be news for the country. <laughs> yeah. Hitler books are doing that yeah. much. <laughs> three would you be a lot of reading. Catch up on three was yeah war Iraq. and terror maybe. Yeah, four. Four. Um, Vietnam four, not getting a look in there. <laughs> 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 yeah, Vietnam. Where does that come in the order? Bloody culture war. Well, that would be have been before what was, the Iraq. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose when I say I'm really into war, I mean I've read Bird Song recently. I think right. maybe that's what I'm yeah, saying. I don't even know is, what that I don't is. Even know what it's that a is. World War One book. It's amazing. I watched, you can't agree. War Girl. There, you go. there we go. War Girl. I watched a <laughs> World War, War One Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a World War One film. Oh, how good two, was it? That's like reading a book, isn't it? That's like reading a book. Is it the one with Brad Pitt in it? No, it was um, All oh, Quiet in the Western Front. So good. Very good. I'm not so usually good. into war stuff. It was great. It's oh, amazing. No. And they had such a bad time of it, didn't they? Yeah, it was really, really hard. <laughs> it was awful. It was, yeah. You think like, oh, war must have been bad. I everyone talks about how bad it is. Uh -huh. And then you watch these films and you're like, fuck me, that was bad, wasn't really it? Really bad, yeah. And that's bad from the vibes. German perspective. Yeah. You know, that's what's bad about it. You're like, oh, Jesus, it's bad on both Should sides. Should have seen it okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know anything about World War One. I still don't. What, it's a weird what choice to go there? in it through the German perspective, isn't it? Do is that what the original was about? No. What the, what the original war? The ori no, the original <laughs> All Quiet on the Western Front. Was that from the German perspective? Yeah, it's all German perspective. Right, right? Okay. Yeah. Right. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, you know what we'll... he's like? He's, okay. like. <laughs> he's a wee thicko. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't World War One? is just England and Germany? No, France. France. It was the fighting in France, but French are just sort of like... Mm -hmm. What? Aren't they? The French Let's aren't really. Out of this, I'm, <laughs> it. I'm like just guys, watching a podcast. You actually know more about it than yeah, me. I don't know. What the fuck you're talking I don't know. Because uh, we weren't taught about it in school. It was World War Two. We were no. taught about all straight the time. The sequel, straight yeah. to the sequel. The sequel. Yeah. Really? And we weren't talking about the that's first. Terminator Two is a better one. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the first about? Tell me. It's it's Franz Ferdinand. It's was like a land war, right? <laughs> and it's yeah, yeah. Archduke. I, I know yeah. that bit because it's a band. Of the band. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful we'll band. I mean, Wonderful. I know if, uh, a good song in a way, but that's that's who I don't know if you ask me. <laughs> but <laughs> assassinating them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Aye, a bit harsh. Uh, I think quite good. I think the Germans were just like, let's go this way, and the English were like, let's go that way, and then they just sort of met in the trenches. What do you mean? What like what, what was? The, what was the reason? Yeah, what was the reason, actually? What was the reason? Maybe I'm not that into war. <laughs> what is the reason for it? This has got to be page one of that book you read, no? Yeah, you'd imagine it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I actually 
didn't even think about that. So they shot this person, Franz Ferdinand. Yeah. That, that was the reason. But who yeah. shot him? But why did they shoot him? Yeah, and why? Like and where? Two pack, un- 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 it's, a, it's an unsolved <laughs> murder. It was a drive-by. Yeah, it's a cold case. <laughs> <laughs> it's after a Mike Tyson fight as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shouldn't one of us know the answer to this? There should be one smart person in the room to fact check this. This like, is Richard why we need Osman a producer in the, co- the corner fucking yeah, letting yeah, this yeah. shit up, you know? <laughs> well, usually I think you would be good at this kind of right, thing. Right, here's what I know about World War One. Basically, right, at Red that time, Europe, it was all basically kings and all these royal families who were basically all cousins. It was the cousin war, basically. Right. They were all cousins fighting each other. Yeah. You know, Germany, I didn't know if that was a country or whether it was still Ottoman Empire or that shit. I don't know. What? Who gives a fuck, right? All that matters. It's, back, is it it's always the, been a country. I don't really know. It's, not it's always, always been, been a country. country, but it's always it's got like the most changing border in Europe. Like Isn't it's it? been like bigger, North smaller. Germany. Like just it's all over East the place. East Germany, West Germany, North Germany. That's North Germany. after <laughs> World War. Two. That's Cold War. I know that one. <laughs> but I know what happened in between okay. in the in between times. So. Right. Germany lost World War One, mm-hmm. and then they had like this massive reparations bill. The like you've got to pay Versailles. all this back. But it- <laughs> war boy, we got, got a war boy, boy in the room. <laughs> war boys entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and then because they had to pay all these reparations, they like had no money, right? right. And then all the Germans were like. Ugh. <laughs> and then um, Hitler was like, oh, I'll fix your money problems. And right. then did that. And then went like, it just absolutely, like, not a nice man at no. all. Talk about right? a chaotic slot. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, yes. like, bad energy. Yeah. Bad and energy. a war boy to be fair. <laughs> 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 Fucking loved it. And then. He's a and war then, slot, I would call him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just invaded Poland, I think, on a whim. Just for a laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I honestly think it was just like, and oh, that's why where not? What was she going to do? Was. Where you went to Yeah, you went on holiday to it. Where you went on a school trip. I went on a school trip. But, aye. Yeah. Czechoslovakia, etc. What happened there? They invaded that before (laughs) Poland. Poland was like the last straw. That was the the straw that broke the camel's back and that's what started. Was it? Imagine the story in this thing. So funny. <laughs> do, you know, do you know how I know so much about that shit? Uh, no, I, I date, like, how do you know so right, much about that you know See, so when I was in history in school, right, me and my fo- my three mates all sat together and we talked so much that I get moved next to this boring guy, Paul Evans. Shout out, Paul. I don't know. <laughs> Shout out, Paul. I genuinely don't know if he's still alive, but he was, na- <laughs> he was a nice guy, but I didn't talk to him. So I just sat and I worked through the workbook for The Road to War, was what we were doing at the time. The Road, the to, Road War. to War. Road to World War Two, so starts with Treaty of Versailles, right up to obviously invasion of Poland, like you mentioned. So I just was ahead of the class for ages, and then they would be like <laughs> pure miles behind. I'm like, they only on that fuck Czechoslovak. They're for they're, they're still Spoilers. trying appeasement. Fuck sake, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and I knew it uh, just because I fucking rattled through it because I was like, bored in so class. Boring. Good yeah. for you. Well done. Good for you. So that's the main thing in orbit in history. What's your favourite war? One or two, if you had to pick. I'm going to know about two. And I actually only really know about the yeah. like, you know, the prelude to it, to be honest. Well, uh, when I first watched like a World War One film, I was like, oh God, like that's gonna be like the best one. Cause like World War Two is like a sequel, right? So it's like yeah. not gonna be the But they had a terrible time in two as well. Like it was just they were both bad. Yeah, mm. they were both really like, bad. They were both bad. I yeah. almost feel guilty enjoying these films, do you know? <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite war film? Oh, I've, well, do you know, I'm not a big fan, but do you know, I did watch a few of the Vietnam ones, and uh, Hangy's good, isn't it? The Kubrick one, what's it called? Full not Metal Jacket. It. Not seen That's it. Good. Not seen it. That's good. That one is for very good. So is uh, Deer now. Hunter. You ever seen Deer Hunter? <gasps> Not Deer Hunter it. is not amazing. It. It's course, like Meryl Streep it. and um, who were the three guys in it? Why can I not remember? De Niro, De Niro. Uh, Christopher Walken, and. Danny Dyer, I was thinking. Of. Al Pacino. Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, Al Pacino. Is that Arkan? I can't remember. I can't remember his name. It's the yeah. other one. He's in The Godfather, though. Aye. Brando. One of those guys. No. no. But it is fucking He is in sick. Apocalypse now, though. Yeah. And you know what? It's on BBC iPlayer right now. Is Deer it? Deer Hunter, yeah. Because yeah. I nearly downloaded it to watch on the train up to Scotland. <laughs> and then I thought, it's just such, it's too weird. Yeah. It's That's too the weird. The, the, the Russian the roulette scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know where I first saw that scene? It was in, um, it was in a Revels advert. <laughs> <laughs> That is the most Steve thing sweet. I've ever heard in my life. The chocolate sweets. It was an advert for Rebels. Raymond Mills, like, isn't it? So there was, <laughs> and instead of like shooting themselves with a gun, it was like, oh yes, I got an orange, and then I they, oh, that, got yeah, a coffee yeah. sweet, and they were like, oh, he's he's dead. Mm. I didn't know that was referencing the deer hunter. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. 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 There was guess, an epic time of adverts in the UK. That was yeah. a great time. Do you know what was a good one? The Go Jaffa on. Kate one. 
full moon, moon, half moon, total eclipse. <laughs> that is perfect. They don't make them like that me. anymore. No. Perfect. What was the shop where they were trying to sell British meat to us? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just being like, here's a nice recipe you could do with our beef, they created two characters called Beefy and Lammy. I don't remember that. <laughs> what? They were two guys wearing, wait, maybe I'm mad. Maybe they it was were on like, the show in England. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't think I ever heard that. Maybe Scotland would not stand for this. <laughs> 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 they were like Dolmio puppets being like that beefy I'm lying. I was like this is mental was that a Dolmio advert no no it was just like they were just like really keen to like get beef and lamb being bought so maybe it was around the horse or time yeah. or like yeah uh, around that they were sure. just sort of like horse yeah. meat horse meat thing I've horse spoken about this in the podcast before but do you know what really confused me as a kid right uh, no how the, I, I can't believe it's not butter yeah well see when growing up like we just always had margarine in the house so yeah, we yeah. just called that butter yeah and so when I would see the I can't believe it's not butter adverts on the TV when I was like five I was like so confused because I was like <laughs> it is butter <laughs> why are they saying it's yeah. not butter I thought that was the joke you thought it was like avant-garde yeah. that everything. it was butter and they were saying I can't believe it's not butter and I was just <laughs> for ye- honestly years and years before I realised <laughs> that there was a difference between butter and margarine and then realised oh that's what they were that's talking about were talking most about. people have those sort of out of body experiences when they watch like the Matrix for the first time <laughs> 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 they had it for the I can't believe it's not butter yeah, margarine, margarine, <laughs> margarine pilled I have it in good authority <laughs> yeah I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> pills. one's butter and one's margarine <laughs> <laughs> what margarine did you grow up with we used to have pure in our house oh really pure yeah it was a brand of margarine we were always just lurp pack mm. ah, straight lurp pack fucking showing you yeah. showing the money my little Sh- prince I'm, I know I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm showing my uh, my privilege here I guys, remember but... the first time I had butter I was like <laughs> <laughs> this is what um, like you know when like American comedians do a podcast and they do a little intro at the start this is what they call a free ranging conversation <laughs> <laughs> it's about Auschwitz 40 uh, you know, hey, 40 seconds ago we have started you, haven't we I, <laughs> <laughs> So I want to hear when was the first time you had butter? Was that was it during rationing and, and the second one? Was <laughs> <laughs> that recorded? Not. That is recorded. Okay, cool. Sorry, Stephen's so nervous. Sorry, I was like, I was enjoying myself so much. I got swept away. The way <laughs> shots a bit fucked this week. I don't know why, but for some reason. Out. Like, we only ever had margarine at home. And then I went to this birthday party of this girl who lived on, like, another like a road just attached to mine. Mm-hmm. And she had ham sandwiches with anchor butter. And I couldn't believe it. Like, I was <laughs> six and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else was eating like the sweets and the party rings and I was just there with the platter of sandwiches like fucking hogging down the town like not chewing like pelicans <laughs> like I was, it was bad and then my mum arrived and I was like you have to find out what they did to these sandwiches <laughs> and then my mum bought me a tub of anchor and I was just there like nice. spooning it yeah. in front of play days <laughs> like, I, I used to eat butter as well see on um, with, I, with a bit of sugar sprinkled on top and then you just like down it like no me neither no, 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 sugar. Yeah, no, no yeah no sugar. <laughs> no 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 what the fuck you actually just hate Straight. it pure so raw that, dog in it. yeah i was like i was we were on holiday and i refused to eat all the, any food because uh i was <laughs> foreign mark is it yeah because yeah. <laughs> i was a wee racist brexit means brexit i was a wee racist four-year-old and then so i just ate packets of you know the little butters that you get that you put on a wee bread roll yeah, yeah, i yeah. just eat yeah just lick it oh for, a, for about five days i lived off butter apparently so that is insane i would sometimes eat the bread roll as well i, I think your mum's got a step in there yeah you would well, that, was the only, that was the first time that i ever had, had butter was was in a bread roll <laughs> on like holiday in a restaurant or something and then i, I remember i would, must have been at a party or somewhere yeah. where i had it and i said to my mum oh mum this is like restaurant butter and she's like shut up <laughs> <laughs> where were you on holiday where you didn't feel like you could eat anything apart from butter sachets um, so close so <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that it's like kind of an oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, I think it was either, so it was either in France we went to France and my sister said that everything is frog's legs or snails your sister's a bitch man no she's cool she's, she's a listener like, like, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a prince now I'm not going back to a frog in any fucking way <laughs> you have to want to eat mankind do you know what I mean I was, I was freaking out that I was like oh I can't eat anything then so I'll just eat packets of butter 
So, <laughs> that's yeah. so sad. That's, that's a shame, isn't it? Also, because French food when you're little is like it's good. It's orangina. It's those <laughs> like biscuits like covered in Nutella. Like it's good stuff. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. It's not just frogs. Like no, it's even really in McDonald's, not. I was freaking out. Like there's going to be snails in these. You think everyone's <laughs> out to trick you? In yeah, France. yeah. <laughs> I was getting tricked in France. <laughs> that is funny. Have you eaten snails now? No. Have you? No. I just can't. It freaks me out. Can't quite get there. Like, I, think, I feel like you would try a snail. I would, but I've not. Done frogs it. legs ever had that no. No. no 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 i don't think i've ever been anywhere where they're serving frogs no. legs no helen used the phrase it's foreign mug it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit rich for my boy we didn't, we didn't fight world war ii to be eating fucking frogs legs. <laughs> 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 they were on our side though weren't they? They're, they're the no, a fucking surrender monkey yeah, that's the french were. were on no one's side oh were they, they were just sort of like oh the germans have oh well oh well. They, yeah. they just oh, it's all good it's all good whoever wins is, yeah we'll go back to normal afterwards <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, they surrendered so that they didn't bomb the Eiffel Tower, basically. As far as I know, there's that famous tower, picture of Hitler fair. at the Eiffel Tower, like in the middle of the war, just standing there. The Vichy oh, regime, it was called. Really? Holy shit! I know that guy was fucking boring. I know that fell on partridge. I think. <laughs> 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 I am such a big partridge fan. Are you? Like, I was actually number six in the country um, for partridge trivia in 2011. Oh, nice. No. This is way back when. Well, I've did lost you re- it since did then. Did you revise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, we were big partridge was heads it as well. Yeah, I mean, no way. It was, um, so like once a year in London, I don't know if it still happens, you had to like enter to get invited to this quiz, right? And it was like super intense. There's only a certain amount of tables and you had to build up your team. And it was like trivia questions as well as like speciality rounds. Like uh-huh. you've got to go on the street and scream Dan as many times as you can. Like, um, so like really right. specific stuff. Get his face tattooed on your and torso. <laughs> literally, you can order lady boys at the bar. Like it, it was incredible. Because my friend also used to run the Alan Partridge DJ nights, which was an eight hour set of just like, Partridge. Like dance, right? <laughs> yeah. But with all the, the intros. on the t- <laughs> it's time for a big fat slice of Sin Lizzie. <laughs> just start playing. <laughs> like, nettles cause them, doc leaves cure them, it stings, stings! <laughs> like, good stuff. Um, and I was on the um, yeah, team that came in six, and I, I put wow. it together and everything, my yeah, team. Right. Oh, we That's would have good. done better if I hadn't invited along a friend who wanted to be there, even though she didn't know anything we didn't know. Mm. Like, it was an absolute <laughs> waste of our time. <laughs> Can I give you a partridge quiz right now? Oh my God, but it, it's been so long since I saw it. Okay. But go for it. Go but for you, it. Like, can I ask you, is it specifically I'm Alan Partridge or is it the whole Partridge canon? No, just you're... hit me. Just What's hit his me. dad's name? Gordon. No. What, his middle name is Alan Gordon Alan Partridge. Gordon Partridge? His name is Lionel Partridge. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is with the books now, there's this so the... much lore. That's, that's the thing. The books, the, the books yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually I amazing. Partridge, we need to talk about Alan, chapter one. When I was younger, I used to suffer a series of profuse nosebleeds. No? <laughs> 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 That's obviously past my quizzing days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Oh, please ask me another question. I want to redeem myself. Oh, you, Stuart, you get one. You think? Because I, I, I would do Partridge for Mastermind. I think if I've ever done it. I'm worried I won't know it now. Like, yeah, it's been too long. Uh, I'm worried we're getting the question wrong. Yeah, no. yeah, I can. Oh, you're all panicking now. Yeah, I I'm couldn't panicking. give you a question. What um, is what's the... the name of the? Go on. The motel. Oh, come on. Travel Tavern. Yeah, it's a travel yeah. tavern. <laughs> What's the name of the the uh, quiz that um, Dave Clifton does? Youth Hostelling with Chris Eubank? No, <laughs> no damn no. it. No. I, I don't know that one. That? It's the Clifton Suspension yeah. Quiz. <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't know was a all thing, the young girls yeah. pretending they're all there and screaming. <laughs> See, when I, I went to Bristol for the first time last year and I'm like, is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> fucking the suspension bridge? I was like, that's cool as fuck. I had to go on it just to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> that was great. But there's like yeah, that should be some part of some sort of partridge trail as you get to go yeah, to these like like pilgrimage. Tour. Yes. Yeah. There should always be something. Like I remember the first time I did a gig in Norwich, I was like, I cannot fucking believe it. <laughs> and I wanted to go to City Hall. You know that amazing special he did, Aye. where it's all set in Norwich, and he's like walking through yeah. the City Hall, being like, Hitler once wanted, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same door five times. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I remember when the film came out, Alpha Papa, 7th of August, 2013. Uh, <laughs> I think my knowledge is fun. And um, I entered like 
20 competitions to win merch from it <laughs> like i was so into it did you win and no because they were all like what's the best quote what's your favorite quote and stuff like that and they'd pick it and i entered with what is the best quote of the film which is um she's a drunk racist lin i can handle the one but not the two together <laughs> <That's flawless. laughs> right? but the winner was like gull gull when he's like oh, pretend shame. like dying yeah. on the yeah, right shame mine's it. a good one mine's yeah. a good quote it was so yeah. frustrating but I'm okay now. Yeah. That's what matters. I've always wanted one of the Castro GTX jackets. <laughs> <laughs> for the funeral. I, yeah, I've yeah, done a... I would absolutely <laughs> love if it. heaven forbid you go before me, I'll turn up in that second. <laughs> <laughs> Were you close? Signing the contract for the Some Laugh Patreon <laughs> for your dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's the freaking dream i love that man so much uh, did you ever watch saxondale yeah i watched it at the time but i've not gone back to it, I can't it really is remember. still good it's, it's good. really good it's like the other steve coogan sitcom from around that time yeah, but he's yeah, in no, like I anger remember. management it's fucking fire what's the he's he was like a roadie or something He's right? um he's a pest controller. He was he was, was already, or he just got the vibe he, of yeah, yeah. the other he's one. Got, no, like a like, metal kind he of guy. He talks he? about it. Like yeah. like he used to like you know, hang out with the cause like back in the day or whatever. <laughs> but um yeah, just pest control. Have you ever <laughs> met Coogan or anything? Once. Did you? We are. Um well I met him, he did not meet me. Mm. <laughs> I was working in catering uh-huh. at the Royal National Theatre on South Bank wow. in London. Thank you so nice. much. <laughs> and I was on a break. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, guys, no, that means a lot. <laughs> Cheers. We've tried um, to start incorporating applause. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> 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 and I was having a cigarette and I was on my break on like the staff like balcony, but it's also like linked to the like backstage bar for like the famous people. And um, he came up and went, can I have a cigarette, please? I'm happy to pay you for it. I just don't have any. And I was like, Yes. And then I gave it to him. And then I was like, I'm going to say something. And I was like, I'm not going to. I respect him too much. I didn't want to meet him like that. You know what I mean? I want Did to meet him. Did you pretend that you didn't know who he no, was? No, no. I, he knew because I was like. It was the perfect time as well because <laughs> like, he owes you a favour. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. gave him the cigarette and I was yeah. like, no, no, no. All good. All good. You should have charged him for it. Yeah, one pound. <laughs> See how much you were thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want one aha, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for him to walk away. And was like, I love you, Alan. <laughs> when are you going to take me to London? <laughs> <laughs> That would have been amazing. That would have been great. Imagine you got him off smoking because he refused to date because you asked him to say uh, a partridge catchphrase. You met him as well, didn't you? No. We spoke about this on him. Oh, did I? Because when he was doing the Alan Partridge live show in Edinburgh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we a few years went to a, a pub in the corner and him and the writers came in. No. And so when I, like, they were just sitting, nobody was really bothering them. And uh, I was going to leave because I had to go back to Glasgow. Yeah. And I thought, on, and they're like on the way, they're standing on the way out towards the door. Yeah. So on the way out, I just says, "All right, guys, great show, big fan." The, like, That's nice. Like, yeah, yeah. And it was the the Gibbons brothers, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, Gibbons brothers, big fan of the books, and all that." Yeah. Hope you have a good night. And then like Coogan was like, "Oh, thanks very much." And I mm. like, I think he was relieved that I wasn't wanting anything else of them, or and maybe just. You know, they were scared of the accent or something. I don't know, but, <laughs> and, uh, but I left, right? But then all our mates were still in the pub like, who are all comics and stuff. And I'm like leaving going, fuck, see if they end up befriending him and having And they're the all going to hang out. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then by the time I got to like the petrol station about halfway home, I looked at my phone and they'd got a selfie with him. And I was like, oh man, that's cool. What was it like? And he says, he did not want to take that picture. <laughs> So you did the best thing. I you was did like, the best I'm thing. so glad at what I've done. Not so. why you big spastic. You're a mentalist. <laughs> <laughs> but, There's a video of someone recreating that run from the <laughs> house out into the field. And it's incredible. Like one of my dreams is to go to that house and do that run into the middle of the field. <laughs> It's, it's, you're right though about like you want to meet him like because no something he's presented the Edinburgh or you want to meet him when he's giving you the Edinburgh Comedy Award or something like that. Well, you just want to I mean? like I don't know because like I wasn't even doing stand up then, but I wanted to do it. I was just like too scared to do it, and I was like, there's just some people where you're like, I want to meet you the right way. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like As doing a something. Yeah, almost mm. like a colleague. I mean, yeah. we'll never be like <laughs> equals, but like yeah. just never like enough. it'd be cool to do that. Also, like, what do you say? Do you know what I mean? What do you say? Just like. Yeah. He knows you You're like Alan Partridge. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's obvious. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
oh, like, I can't just quote to him because he'll be like, yeah, no, I know that. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that, yeah. Yeah. It's time for, I don't know, like, it's Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell, a <laughs> song in which she <laughs> pretends they pave over paradise to put up a parking lot, something that would significantly alleviate congestion in the centre of paradise, <laughs> something that Joni singularly misses to point out with her warp view of the world. It's Big Yellow Taxi. Like, you just be like, I just wanted a cigarette. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, let's be best friends now, actually. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about the new season of In the Ice House? Yes. Come in September. Yeah. Big Very time. exciting. Mm. We should probably get it. off this rather than just stealing all his material, but I was watching uh, <laughs> someone said it to like, he, there's one where he commentates on the coronation, uh, the King's mm-hmm. coronation. It's like 20 minutes, someone's put it on YouTube. It's fucking funny. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. Because she made Diana sad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think the Queen killed Diana? <laughs> uh, I, I have to ask people back, back to France mm, yeah well that's back to yeah of, Paris 31st yeah. of August 1997 lest we forget oh, do you, of course <laughs> yeah oh, God, God rest our soul what Alan Parr just um, came out that day <laughs> knowing me knowing you uh, yeah probably actually yeah. I don't know if the Queen specifically killed her have you ever heard the thing about uh, he's talking about Diana it's like Chris Morris can interview now in Partridge and they're talking about that and then he's talking about um, fucking JFK was listening to a CD in the car that he gets shot in and they're like CDs in the 60s he's like oh you think they didn't have those and that shit anyway, I um, have yeah. no idea what that was yeah I mean I, I it's, like, it's, a a of rare, it's a bit of a deep cut anyway uh, yes the Queen <laughs> <laughs> the Queen did kill Diana, but that's fine. Uh, no, I don't think that's fine, but I do think probably. I'm just so think? paranoid it's my fault. Like, I've always been worried that I had something to do with it. Why? Because, like, I went on holiday to Paris that year. Like, it was Maybe a family that was the holiday. Year that I went as well, and I wasn't eating food. <laughs> See, this is the Maybe thing. Maybe it could have been pals or something. Maybe the car slipped in my wee butter packets. Yeah. Well, my paranoid thing is, is that, like, <laughs> I was six. We were on holiday in Paris, right? Summer holidays. And I was a sleepwalker at the time. <laughs> and Diana loved children. Like, and there was, like, what, like, eight cameras on the tunnel that night. Uh-huh. All of them turned off randomly 20 minutes before or were broken. Mm. Oh, fucking K. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good that's fucking that's luck with that. Same ones in Jeffrey Epstein's cell, right? I don't know. <laughs> Hey! No, they wouldn't be. No. That'd be like free. No, they, they, <laughs> <all, laughs> they were all sit on North. When you said that, though, I was like, that's mad. <laughs> you think people would be fucking talking about that? Yeah, they would probably updated the technology in that. <laughs> yeah, they would have done. Period, yeah. God, I'm thick sometimes. <laughs> um, but I'm one nice girl, though. <laughs> thick but kind. And, um, but I'm just like, I was concerned that, like, I slept walk. Diana saw me because she loved kids, and then, like, the car swerved, and then she died. And then it's all linked to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> were you there in Paris when she died? Yeah. Oh, where? On a family yeah. holiday. Fuck that. Must Near the crash. Weird. Up the motorway, like, like Alan Partridge. I don't know how. Cut the point. <laughs> 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 the Tungsten sweet spot. Test is. <laughs> I've seen so lot of die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So you were the, so you're in France when died. Yeah. Right? That's suspicious to wow. me. Yeah. I, it makes me like, and also like. My this dad. queen had something to do with Diana Dine. Were, Dan, that's were you at I'm any saying. other like culturally significant events like that? The Could... the plane the week after the Malaysian Airlines one that went down over was it Ukraine that one that got shot down. Yeah. I was on that exact same flight the week after. Wow! So, so Does the that one count? that went down. You were on the exact same flight? Yeah, so like Not I the same plane. The same flight. Right, the but same. I was on the same path with the same right. but with Malaysian Airlines the week after. Because I booked Malaysian Airlines because it was so cheap because that other flight went missing. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. It when there's a disaster you... with an airline, book immediately. Mm, time you fly. Because everyone's like lightning went strike twice and it did. <laughs> yeah. <it> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've I think I've missed all the other culturally significant events. So like nine eleven you were you were not in New York. You yeah, were, you just at school and fleet. Yeah. Just at school and fleet, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. That, I think it is, yeah. yeah. It'd be weird if I was in New York. Because if you were at a few, then I would be piecing these together. Right, like, yeah. right. That's Have you been somewhere culturally, like, like a big moment in history? No, no. I mean, maybe I was in France when Diana... I feel like you would know that. I probably would know that. I definitely wasn't. Yeah. No, I don't think I've ever been, like... Significant in any way. Tied up in a conspiracy, no? Conspiracy? Yeah. 
9-11. Or Diana. (laughs) Yeah, well, Diana is a conspiracy. You know, she wrote in her diary, I'm going to sound so mad now, but she wrote in her diary that her, like, butler printed that she was worried that they were going to kill her and that she was scared of something was going to happen with the car. Yeah. Like, that fucking makes you think, doesn't it? That Mm -hmm. does make you think. And also, how did all those cameras turn off? Like, yeah. how yeah. did they? No, like, th- that's mental. Yeah, something fishy is going Sums on. Sums up, girlfriend. Yeah. Sums up. <laughs> but that's the queen trap. organized. That's a, <laughs> and that's a trap. <laughs> they, do say, they do say that because she was with Al Fayed and they were worried if she got pregnant and then they'd be like... But uh, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like, was she pregnant and cousins, was she having like, a baby? Like mm-hmm. Yeah. Cousins, it mm-hmm. fucking all makes that's sense. It. God, it's so, fucking dark. But the whole royal family stuff is dark. Like, yeah. the inbreeding over the years. Like, not to bring it back to history, but I guess we're sort of that podcast now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know that... It's because of inbreeding that the whole Russian things happened. How do like you mean? the whole Russian, th- the Rasputin is because of inbreeding. Because, like, Queen Victoria married one of the German princes, Albert, right? But their families were already so intensely linked because Victoria was already like half German. Mm-hmm. And, um, Basically, they had babies and then their babies all had this like anemia thing, although they were carrying the gene for it. So like, is anemia one where you cut and then you just keep bleeding? Uh, Whatever's that. I don't know why I'm asking. Low iron or something? Yeah. Something like that. Like you've got okay. no white blood cells or Yeah, something. they're not having enough beefy and lamy. And then... Look at the adverts. And then they want to have good... Beefy cells. <laughs> but then they go so then one of Victoria and Albert's daughters goes and marries a Tsar in Russia and then they have kids and they only have daughters apart from this one boy but they need a boy right because girls are like like all <laughs> stupid sluts and whores so they're like oh let's have a prince they have this boy and he's got that anemia thing and he's bleeding all the time they're like we need him to live and then Rasputin's like oh I'm a doctor and I don't think he was big fickle Rasputin but, yeah. <laughs> he had a big thick <laughs> Massive cog, thirteen inches or something. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it's massive. Oh, yeah. Googling that. Rasputin's after. dick. Rasputin's hog. Bro. When the fuck have you seen Rasputin's hog? Oh, do you not know about this? <laughs> you don't know about this. It's like thirteen inches. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, hey. a, How would you know that? It's in a jar. It's in a jar. It's in an episode it's in of Still jar. Game. Yeah, it is. That's not. No, that that's not. That. Jesus that's Christ. That's not that. that. Do you think that's in the hunting? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what they're alluding to, isn't it? And the how would they get his cock? Didn't he get shot and then drown? No, they, don't, cho- don't they chopped get... it off because it's so big. Yeah, They've... thirteen. Well, no wonder that's what the so song's confident. about. <laughs> that's what the song's about. He's a big rather lover. rush between uh, Russia's famous love machine. It's because of his cock. All right. Oh my god! You didn't know this. I did not know that. See, I was I'm too busy learning real facts. Mm. Yeah. I don't judge people by the size of their dicks. <laughs> no, I just like come to the mind. Because Rasput, he was very confident. Because he was like, when do you think I'm it was where you had to train to be a doctor? Because like back in the day, you could just be I like, think... I'm a doctor, and everyone <laughs> yeah. be like, oh, I guess. Around <laughs> then, you definitely had some kind of training, but people were still getting like, you know. Lesions sucked out of them with fucking cockroaches or whatever the fuck it was. They leeches. Used to do. <laughs> leeches. I, sorry, leeches. I'm just thinking leeches. I. But he went to go and cure this boy and then got really in with the family. And then that's when it all went like bloody mad. <laughs> <laughs> History yeah, corner. No, I want to hear more about this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought sort of you were talking about in Russia. No, no, like. <laughs> yeah. It's like the old Rasputin thing. Yeah. This is like an Adam Curtis documentary or something. Who's Adam Curtis? No, for, sure. for, yeah. for to understand, I can't believe. It's not butter. We need to go back to Rasputin. <laughs> and then something unprecedented happened. We had a massive hog. That's they another butter. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, was that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pun. Is that a, is that a butter? Yeah, President Butter. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. It's a very lovely butter. Yeah. Now that's, you'd, you'd want to down that What's one. What's the Italian one? That's, that looks quite nice on the package. Bellotti. Yeah. It's a looks... margarine, I think. I think it's a sunflower oh, spread. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're, they're cutting that with shit. Yeah, I always yeah. looked at that and thought that looks nice. You've just seen an Italian yeah. name and you, yeah, your mind's just playing yeah. tricks on you. But it's, yeah, just... it's like, you know, if he signed for Celtic or Rangers, but he's a good sign. In <laughs> he's, 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 he's probably <laughs> sounds, class. He's sounds good. good. Out of yeah. curiosity, like, do you still reach for Lurpak? Is that your go to? Because yep. you were like raised on it. Yep. Yeah. Slightly salted. Lovely. Do you know it anymore? Spreadable. Spread, but you better believe oh, yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, I love Lurpak. <laughs> like, I've got into it. Like, margarine is like. No. I yeah, I grew up in one of those houses where we had like 
um, like healthier foods. So like I had like is margarine that, healthy? I don't know. I but think for the a one while we it was had, seen as more. I think healthy it was right, like we okay. had we only had skimmed milk at my house. The red cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the watery my, one. My, like my auntie I'm a red cap guy. Are you? Yeah. Oh fuck's sake! You don't think you know say. a guy? Who are you? Uh, green. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I've managed to work my way up to green now. Yeah. yeah. But at first, like I still can't stand blue milk. I'm blue like, milk, it's yeah. just like cream. Yeah, that's yeah, too much. It's for too me. much. Have it's you ever tried mad. the purple? What's, What's that? Purple one oh. percent, I think. Oh, I, I used to put that out in the shelves in Asda. Yeah. I can't remember the name yet. You it worked out. Called Asda. the big purple. Mm-hmm. Adorable. One. <laughs> <Little bit>. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite spread? Spread. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if Lurpak can't see, I'm having yeah, that. Yeah, Lurpak. That's, that's the real shit, isn't it? Do you yeah. ever butter fuck, but... and then peanut butter as well? I don't do peanuts. Not are you allergic? I do butter jam. Sick. I'd, yeah, on toast, butter jam. Butter, mm. banana. I like that. Big fan of that. So cute. That's such a little <laughs> That's a very move. mumsy little treat, that butter Why? banana to me. Do you think? Yeah. I think it's just because my mum would have that. But, yeah. yeah. You need to put the it's butter like, I'll t- have pilchers and tomato on toast, please. <laughs> just for me. <laughs> no, that's different. That's different. <laughs> banana on toast with butter, because the butter makes you it moist. You need the moisture. You need the moisture. Dude, that's um, true. Because certain people, like, chop their banana. I'm... I'm Crush oh, you're it. a spread. Keep a a oh, like with a fork, like a mashing. Mash it. That's yeah, too yeah. baby food for me. That I keep a banana away for any bread for me. Fuck that. Really? Yeah, I'm not eating. Not it, even actually. banana bread. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> if you're making them as a as, as one, one thing to come together, then okay. yes, but not. Um, well, you're no. off carbs anyway. Though, I wouldn't so that... be having the bread. Yeah, and actually, the banana's got a lot of sugar in it as well. To be honest, but fuck off. Did you get an iron brew with ice cream flavour in your fucking fridge? Extra taste. No sugar. No sugar. <laughs> Lots of chemis. <laughs> so, would you like to try this? By the way, I think I do. Right. I didn't at first. I don't no. like it. Is it like a cream soda sort yeah, of thing? Yeah, Shut so. up. <laughs> so, oh, Do you want that sponsorship? <laughs> oh, that is fucking minging. Ah, she's English, doesn't he, man? <laughs> I like normal iron brews. I must. So do I. <laughs> so do all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Love it. Like <laughs> <laughs> Who's your dream sponsor for the podcast? These guys. Apparently. Iron brew, is that who you Te- want? Tenants, iron brew. We said Tunnock's Tea Cakes, didn't we? <gasps> <laughs> so yeah. Anything Scottish. Tesla. Would be Wait, good. Tunnock's Tea Cakes are Scottish? <laughs> yeah. Shut you up. Well done, guys. Uh, it's nearby. Shut fuck off. <laughs> no, that near, but it's in Glasgow. Yeah, it's yeah. a great uh, green. Take it on Wait, can you no. actually like, go around it? Come on over. Yeah. And like, just like, try yeah. everything. I don't think they allow you to just pick Put your stuff, hands, yeah, people yeah. are funny about hands and stuff. Fucking yeah. sick. Do you like them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tunnock's would be good. They know what they're fucking doing. Yeah. Those they caramel bars as well. I enjoy yeah, all yeah. the caramel shit. wafers. Is that what they're called? Caramel mm. wafers. Caramel Incredible. Logs. Caramel logs, yeah. mm. Incredible. What's so that other thing? Is it just those two? The tea, tea, cake. Cake. tea cake and the caramel. And then there's the uh, log. Which yeah. The log, I think, is great. It's got coconut. Coconut. It's not a we used to sell them at the potato shed. I'd eat about a hundred a day. Right. What yeah. the fuck's the potato shed? Oh, let's not get into it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, used to work. I'm thought... thinking about it like as a household now. <laughs> yeah, see if you go to Glasgow Central Station. It's now an information booth there. I used and to it sell used, baked potatoes. There used there. to be a baked potato shed that's shot. What? <laughs> no, you're a potato boy. That's so cute. You can't New category. New category. <laughs> <laughs> that's just such a great niche job. <laughs> The only time I've ever seen anyone work in a potato shop is on that TV show, Even Stevens. Do you remember that from Fuck, when we were little? Was that, um, it was Shia on like, LaBeouf. Yeah, yeah, Shia yeah. LaBeouf. And it was like a kid's like TV show and they worked in like Spud You Like or something. Yeah, that was a crazy little era of like, be like round the twist. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Best Australian show. Ever, obviously. And then Even Stevens. It was kind of mm-hmm. weird. I don't remember this. Telly. I don't remember hey, what did this. you watch when you were a kid? Um, I bet you had Sky. You were watching Sky stuff. This is CBBC. Oh no, no, this feels super like noddy game, so. fireman Sam vibes from this boy. For me, yeah. What age range are we talking? Well, that's a little old. Even Stevens is a little. Sure, Like so, I mean, Postman Pat. I watched this film I like so much. From uh, we went to the video shop to rent this film so mm. much that the I was the only person who rented it, and they just ended up giving me the tape because i watched it that much stop it it was called the halloween tree (laughs) (laughs) this explains so much Uh, and it was like this straight to straight to tv (laughs) film that no one rented apart from me i rented it every every friday for two years and they just said just keep it (laughs) 
<laughs> what was that about? It was, it was set on Halloween. Uh-huh. Uh, it was based around a tree where this <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, old, this old creepy guy so all the kids go trick or treating there's this old creepy house with this huge big tree with all these pumpkins hanging on it yeah. and uh, of course it's the Halloween tree and then he ends up stealing the souls of the kids and putting them into the pumpkins yeah. uh, oh my God. of the tree and then one of their wee pals ha- this happens to them and they have to rescue him why but yeah, wow. Tunnocks would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I think every kid has one creepy film that they're like randomly attached to. Yeah, but did, were you like, did you think that everyone else had seen it? Yeah, I was well? like going yeah. to school, like, oh, I was watching the Halloween trade and everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? I had that with Ben Hur. Like I watched, you watched like Ben, Ben-Hur, Ben-Hur well. was like my one of my favorite films. It's like a toddler. I, like, I don't like, know. What I just is. fucking loved it. Ben Hur is like, like a, a an epic. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's like, like a, a three hour long <laughs> chariot racing Jesus film <laughs> with a leprosy colony in it. Charlton Heston, like it's mad. Okay, yeah. and I was like a toddler. I'd come home from like playgroup. I'd be like, I'll have some porridge. I know, pop on Ben Hur, mummy. <laughs> like, I'm in for the three hour long haul again. I don't know why I was enchanted by it, wow. but I assumed it was like one of those things like, come on, like when you're little, you know, and you watch Play Days and Ben Hur. <laughs> People would always go, ha ha ha. And I was like, oh yeah, ha ha. It's such a funny memory, isn't it? You all did it. And it took me until I was like, at like secondary school, like, age 13, to be like, like, I was making like references to the film all the time, like just constantly. And then it just like, people were like, what are you talking about? And I was like, you know, like when like, ben- he just looks up and it's Jesus there and they're like what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> that explains a lot because is that about war and stuff as well no it's yeah I guess kind of. it's more sort of like yeah it Roman is, it is Roman yeah it's, Roman, it's, it's it? Jesus it's Jesus that's it's what Roman. it is it's Jesus, it's Jesus. and that's like the, na- the the main war if you ask me <laughs> Jesus. What Jesus for? Yeah, yeah. Jesus the, the world, the war of religion. <laughs> you know, the first war of uh, people trying to get Jesus. You know, the Romans trying to cancel Jesus. Trying to cancel. What are Jesus. you talking about? Absolutely. Like, no that was a war against Jesus, wasn't it? Cru- they crucified Jesus. Yeah, the that's Romans. A, that was cru- a war. They crucified everybody all the time. What? They loved crucifying yeah. people. There was back two then. people next to Jesus while he was getting crucified. Yeah. Huh? They uh, never, they never <laughs> got mentioned. <laughs> that's the only thing. <laughs> Well, I don't Tell know you that. what, I was talking to someone. So I was talking about Jesus recently. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not really. I just, I just, you know what? He did a lot, you know, and there's a lot to talk about there. So, right. <laughs> here's the thing everyone knows that he was crucified, right? Mm-hmm. And he was put in a tomb and they covered it with a rock. Yeah. And then three days later, he came back out, right? Yeah, the yeah. rock rolled away. What happened after that? He, he ascended to heaven. When? He kicked a boot for a bit, and then he goes back to the pub, and all that. No fucking way, no that. And then this man is a genius. <laughs> no, I mean, that is actually correct. No one else he knows just that. Hanging out no, I went to a Catholic school. That's why <laughs> <laughs> we got taught this shit. We didn't get taught about condoms. But uh, <laughs> do you want to learn about them now, or do you know now? You go. No, you love them now. I have uh, self taught them. Good boy. Good boy. Autodidact. Autodidact. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Did yeah. you guys know that? That he like, he went, he just like chilled just out chilling. for a bit. I think he's like, did as well. Or like, you got the stuff to sort out. I, I always imagined when he came back, he was see through, but you know what I mean? He was like transparent. Like, so he wasn't like the whole, <laughs> he was just kind of like, he was still able to like, kind of, but people could see him, but he could kind of see through him at the same time, you know? <laughs> it was like, it was, it was like, like 50% opacity. <laughs> Wandering around for three weeks. Was a, just whole, like, a holy ghost. Uh, so. <laughs> I, I didn't know that about Jesus. To yeah. I've never thought about it. Yeah, but I never thought about it until like recently it's like so he came out and then it's like and then what so was this when he was 33 because they say he died at 33 mm-hmm. yeah so probably just, what age is he when he's 33 when he's on the cross or 33 when he eventually goes upstairs both, like, no yeah right. it's all in it's the same all, like, like a month. Gap it's a busy month for him there's nothing in the Bible when he comes back having a birthday party so, so I don't <laughs> think he, <laughs> yeah I don't think he got a year older yeah that'd that be was. such a stressful month wouldn't it like yeah. being crucified mm-hmm. your friend turning against you doesn't doesn't Judas like hang himself as well? Yeah, he does, so your friend betrays you, you're slagging him off, and then he kills himself, and you're like, oh, it's my fault. I don't believe he killed himself. Like what Jeffrey Judas? Epstein, all the- <laughs> 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 they had the same cameras. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now I know that's not true they didn't have cameras <laughs> idiot <laughs> that was a big so, did you ever happened? go to one of those things by the way did you have them up here the the passion um, 
like on <laughs> Easter Sunday, like there would be like big sort of like walk through Jesus plays where you'd like mm. walk through the story of Jesus. That's Hello? Very <laughs> much. That really <laughs> right now. Know, and you want to mean. I mean, no. it makes sense it would exist, but we never had it. So either. like you'd, no. um, like you'd, I was like, so I was Sunday school kid until I was like 13. And then I had a fight with this, the bitch to run church choir, <laughs> fucking nepotistic whore. And um, she wouldn't give me a solo. She just gave it to her daughters, even though I was better. It was a whole thing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, nepotism you fucking in, the, the cat, in the Christianity is quite a big it's thing. It's fucking a mental. <laughs> just because your mum's in charge of the choir doesn't mean you get to sing a solo. Yeah. It was fucking, it, on, you know what? I'm actually still pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I was a fairly Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you would like go along and it would start with like Jesus being like I think baptised by like John the Baptist or something yeah, and then like be, the be in a river like. <laughs> very very droll <laughs> <laughs> that is the most accurate summation of Stuart ever by the way. very droll it's not the first time I've heard them no what is that thing the, the thing about the name thing eh uh, what? John the Baptist Nominative that? determinism Yeah nominative determinism yeah. That was it He was called John the Baptist Yeah but before. I may as well You know <laughs> Went in Rome <laughs> I don't get it What? Doesn't matter Okay right. Oh no He was so named I I think So he, I I so he had to do it Okay Right so then what happens So you see him getting baptised And then you see him Like I guess on trial Does he go on trial At some point? Jesus Before the yeah. crucifixion I... Yeah Did they have a trial for him? That's yeah. quite good That's fair No but they let the like Right you, you, you got to choose Who do you let go And there was this robber guy And then there was Jesus Yes Yes and What? Like, King of the Jews Me and Steve don't know this stuff you Yeah he... Sorry yeah. Is this Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat are we in now? No idea <laughs> No I'm lost now as well no. So Jesus <laughs> Barabbas They let Barabbas go and then Jesus got... Uh, you are the smartest right? man I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> you, are fuck, you know what? You were wasted on Asta. The things you could have done. <laughs> I thought you were saying you were wasted on this podcast. Which is all, all so you're true. also wasted on this podcast, but they need you. So you've got to stay here. That is, again, the most accurate. <laughs> Did you do like a history degree or something? English, but... I just... Good for you. But the thing is, we don't know if he's telling the truth because no, we're all thick so <laughs> no but this is ringing bells it's ringing it? bells no, but yeah. this is the guy that got let off and they because they, they, they said you can let one of these people off with it and who they, did they who did they say this to the the, the, the masked crowd no it was just like a crowd are you picturing went, like big wigs like me <laughs> and then I'm, I'm picturing an actual poor big guy and it's like <laughs> Rasputin's the doctor in the corner got, I've got a choice it's Jesus and then Jesus has to carry his own cross to his crucifixion he does yeah the and then all the Christians <laughs> we'd be watching this play and then we'd follow Jesus dragging the cross yeah. Like up to a mound, and then like obviously he had like he was standing on something. You didn't actually watch yeah. a man get crucified because that, that would cost loads. <laughs> and, um, well, it would, wouldn't it? Like how yeah. much you just pay? Yeah, that'd be yeah. insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you grand. watch him get crucified, and then the sun goes down, and everyone goes, "Thank you so much, back at your picnics." <laughs> so <laughs> and then this you is go what home. I don't get. They made Jesus bring his own cross to his own. I think he had to carry. I, th I bet they made it for cross. him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But even though he's a carpenter, so you could have easily done it. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> how good was he? Like everyone's uh, always like, oh, he was a carpenter. It's like, your dad's a carpenter, you're yeah. not a carpenter. Wasn't yeah. main nepotism. Thing, wasn't it? It's fucking nepotism. But what I'm thinking is, why doesn't he just not drag the cross and then problem solved? They would just whip him and stuff. Yeah, well, he's going to die anyway. Horrible, isn't it? Mm. God, everyone, the history, they've had such an awful time of it all of yeah. them. Yeah, it's rough. Is, yeah. As a. Uh, Jesus real? <laughs> like, as <is> a <laughs> it historically. There's a lot of dispute about that. Right, okay. Is there now? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a man? Let's put it to bed, finally. <laughs> I think there episode. was probably a man called Jesus, but like as far as like all the stories, they've been like... Yeah, they embellish you know I mean? it. They like, embellish there's like There's something Star. there. Yeah, sure. Um, like, yeah. Of how would we actually know most of this stuff? Like, no. it gets told, like, written down, yeah. big versions, like... Nah, 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 nah. The thing I, I think I, always, <laughs> I find funny about it is if it did happen, it defies all laws, known laws of science and everything, and it's the only cunt that's ever done it. To just come back for the deed and then just he floats into heaven. Yeah. Mad. Yeah, that's yeah. not happening on anything. No, that's not goat. happening. Um, but... but loads of stuff in the Bible is absolutely mad. My mum is just, she's just befriended a witch like a month ago. <laughs> of course she has. And um, yeah, she's one of, she's one of those. Like a, a, white, a white witch. And, How did she um, befriend her? 
um, some tarot card night. Sure. Some tarot mm-hmm. card night. This woman was like, I'm a witch. My mum was like, fucking shit. Yeah, no bad codes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a reading or anything? Uh, my mum wants me to do a reading with her. I've done a couple of like, I like the sort of like astrological charts. That's a bit of fun for me. What and my star your, sign. What's your star sign? I'm an Aries. Are you? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an Aries as well. <laughs> what fucking does, sick. What does this stuff mean when it's like your sun... Uh, oh moon rising yeah, so, that, so it sort that. of like depends on like where you were born within that sort of like horoscope area as to sort of like which temperaments you would necessarily you be March 25th April 12th oh that's that means, cute I don't know what does that I'm mean I'm a Leo I don't know it's just nice I'm a Leo yeah we're all mean? fire signs it's lovely what are you Scorpio <laughs> <laughs> we've literally had this Chairman conversation well. <laughs> is that, what's that what is that bad um no Scorpios can be fine <laughs> can be what's a fire sign and what am I am I a fire what sign? is a Scorpio is that air I have no idea don't ask me I don't know water I, I only know about Butler and Alan I don't know anything ground do they live in the ground scorpions yeah no I've seen they one above a... ground once before <laughs> flying no walking on the ground <laughs> <laughs> walking on ground day <laughs> yeah, ground. oh yeah but not underground no Oh, I thought you said underground. No, on ground. All oh, right, it's your accent. <laughs> <laughs> your mum befriended yeah. a witch. Let's get back to this. My mum befriended, yeah, my mum yeah. befriended a witch, and um, they wanted to do something nice because basically the witch's husband died or something, but she didn't see that it coming. To I me, yeah. right, so suspicious. Fucking and then she was eulogising him. Or well. <laughs> like she was eulogising him at the funeral, and then there were like two other women who were like shrieking and mourning and then she realised that he had like two other households that he was also in like he was leading with like three like, you wow. thought she'd know she was a tarot card reader and then my, mom, <laughs> my mom was like oh she feels so awful she was so awful I want to do something nice with her and I was like oh like maybe Bella Italia or something because <laughs> um, like it's nice isn't it yeah. and then Real my mum was like I've shake. never been to Bella Italia and no. then my mum, like, this is this mad group of witches. Yeah, no. You've yeah. never been to Bella Italia? Nah, nah, nah. You know it's good quality Italian food because there's also burgers on the menu. <laughs> That's, That's the sign. sign. That it's like when sign. you go to a takeaway and they've got a chippy and an yeah, Indian yeah. and a pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, got the lot. Um, anyway. But they're doing the Mary Magdalene walk. They read somewhere or another witch told them that Mary Magdalene walked across the south of France. Which doesn't feel right for me. No. Because that's yeah. Bethlehem and Jerusalem mm-hmm. to mm. the south of France. That's a fucking trek. That's a long way. <laughs> How did she get there? That's a long way. Right? But I don't want to tell her that. So I'm just sort of like, oh, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey was the main mode of transport in those days, I Not believe. Known for so. the speed. No, no, I don't think that was... I don't believe that either. That's one part where I'm like, there's nowhere nine month pregnant woman is getting on the back of a donkey for a journey. <laughs> oh. It's gotta be more comfortable for what that donkey's fucked. Do so you think she was pregnant? Because this is the, the this is the Da Vinci code shit in it. Mary Magdalene had Jesus' baby. Is that is the Da Vinci Code shit. Yeah. I literally just watched that for the first time like a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> no, fucking joking. No, yeah. Have no, you seen not. it? No. Have you heard about it? No, I've sure. heard about the book. Uh, it's so good. And the film. It's is it so not a good. Scottish guy that wrote it? No, Dan Brown. Dan oh, Brown. I don't think he's Scottish, is he? No, I think so. I don't think he's a Scottish guy. Yeah, I was trying to click his You're thinking of Tonic Steak. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that Mary Magdalene, and then so there are actually descendants of Jesus still living among us. And it's, um, what's her name? Audrey, whatever. The actress's name is... Audrey From Plaza. Coronation Street. Audrey Hepburn? No, what's her Audrey name? Audrey Plaza. Marion Cotillard. One of the French ones. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're a descendant of Jesus because of Mary Magdalene. Yeah. So you don't ah. think that Mary, like Mummy Mary, mm. was the mother of Jesus? Do you think she's just a liar? What? That's a different... Pretty toxic colour women liars on this podcast. Yeah. yeah. So like, do you mean the mother I don't know what of... I think she was the mother, but I don't know. I think she's lying about who the dad was. Who do you think it was? Joseph. Probably Joseph. Oh my god! Or some one of his pals that she was shagging and didn't like. You know, it's an elaborate lie. Jinky got yeah. a lot of action with that dream coat that he had. You know, different like Joseph. Different Joseph. Different Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the thickest episode? I can't keep episode? up with these fucking <laughs> Josephs. <laughs> Just the level of idiocy in this room. Too many Can you teach us Joseph's. something else? I don't. I don't know that much stuff. This is mainly just because I got taught it on school on us. Jesus shit. Wow. None of it even. Is real anyway? I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think any of it's real. It no, doesn't quite make no. sense. Of course not. I want to know what your weird because <laughs> I feel like I felt a bit judged with the Ben Hur thing. What was your weird film when you were younger? Um, I my sister's five years younger than me, uh-huh. and I feel like 
every memory I have from childhood is watching shit with her. Yeah. So it's all her stuff. And we had a straight to VHS. It was a Christmas film, but she was obsessed with it. And we watched it like every day. <laughs> and it was called something like Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. And there's what? songs in that that are still in my head like every day now because we watched it so much. And it's so low rent and like shittily animated. <laughs> it's a proper piece of shit, but she fucking loved it. We watched it constantly. Yeah. That was my one of that. Wow. Just all year round. That's cute. That's actually really adorable. That's oh, way uh, better than a Halloween tree. Prince. I know. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. I do relate to that. She's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did not talk about the Halloween Is that how we talk to that? women in the workplace <laughs> in 2020? When they talk about Believe Halloween her. Tree. Believe her. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Oh. Believe Ben Hart. <laughs> 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 Um, no, I, I was the same. My wee sister's six years younger than me, and like, so I remember like getting plagued with all the shit she would be watching all the time. Like, what was that thing? What was it about the sweet life of Zach and Cody? <laughs> Zach and Cody. How, I watched that as well. I mean, I'm 32, so like, it was not my age, right? But I also have a younger sibling. Yeah, holy shit. But I, I, I used to, I just remember like films I'm trying to think. There, there was loads of stuff, obviously, that you would just re watch all the time. Mm -hmm. Remember the Power Rangers movie? been a big deal I used to be into Power Rangers <laughs> I loved Sonic when I was a kid and uh, nice. I think the, the film I watched a lot was it was an Aladdin one and I think it was like a straight to VHS one it was like Aladdin it was the wedding it was something like that it was called the way the return of Jafar something like that yeah, I, 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 I looked it up recently but it was like the it was like they're getting married at the start of it or whatever mm. and um, there's a big song and all that and I, I used to I remember watching that Hunters but um Mom. Disney's Hercules oh yeah as well so fucking good the best insanely good this is what started Steve on his journey to be uh, an expert on Greek mythology yeah, yeah. do you know a lot about Greek mythology no do you <laughs> lots seriously <laughs> mm -hmm. why mastermind that would be your topic yeah. ask me anything. why do you know anything about Greek mythology Steve's the sixth uh, most <laughs> <laughs> most knowledgeable man in the UK about Greek mythology <laughs> who was Medea who <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> what was, what was episode, Persephone's favourite snack? I call her Persephone. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the way it looks. Uh, what was it her favourite snack? Grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it pomegranate seeds? Probably, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know shit. Basically, we were in a meeting and they asked, they asked us what our interests were and yeah. I panicked this and I said, up Greek mythology. You fucking idiot. Yeah. You're mm. a fucking moron. Yeah. Because uh, I like Disney's Hercules. I get it. I get it. It you is know? a banger. <laughs> Do, and it you turns like... out it's historically or whatever. Oh, it's bang on accurate. Yeah. No. We think we think that Jesus was made up, but there was definitely a little horse of wings. <laughs> 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 yeah. Pegasus was cool. I would love to play the little, uh, you know, little Phil. Danny DeVito that, yeah, so I would love to play him. That's a, a great that's role. role. Stage that, yeah. Play, yeah. yeah. So you want to be a hero, kid? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Disney boy? No, just that one. Yeah, oh, Disney right. Prince. No, no, Disney for, oh, no. I'm like a full Disney adult. I I'm, I'm like the wee oh, yeah. daft wee pal, I think, of all yeah, the like Disney. Like a sidekick. Yeah. yeah. Gaston. Cracking wise. No one did <laughs> like You're it. You're the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does it all. That wee oh, guy. can you just this sing songs for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, do the, do the, uh, the dragon from... Um, Fuck, we're not going to be able to monetize us on YouTube. <laughs> Mulan. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wasn't a big Mulan man. Mulan Why? Man. I don't know, really, really know. Because I'll make a man out of you is such a good song. That is a good song, Mulan. actually. Yeah. That is a good song. Yeah. But I don't really know the story that well. Sorry. Um, it's war again. <laughs> it is. You'll mm -hmm. probably know more about this. It's. Um, <laughs> Do you know? I don't know whether it's a real war or a fictitious war. It's the Hun army. Oh, the, hun, the Huns are We true. don't like to talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's too contentious and glad it's going to... Yeah, yeah so... we need to explain that to Helen as well. Yeah. Uh? Huns. <laughs> For God's sake, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut to a commercial break. No, yeah, yeah. Basically, Huns are uh, what Celtic fans would call Rangers fans. I think it means Protestant, doesn't it? It's, yeah, it's, I yeah, can't remember yeah, if I've said this slur. already on here, but I went to see Drew Lice at once to a tour <laughs> show. Have I told you this? No, I think so. In, uh, <laughs> in, uh, in Glasgow. Yeah. And, uh, as the audience were coming in, it was in like the O2 south of the river, and it like, had like a big projector, and it said, "Hiya, babes." And when he came on, he said, um, "Everywhere else in the UK that I've toured, as people come in, it says hiya Huns." But I was told <laughs> in no uncertain terms to not do that to get in Glasgow. <laughs> and it was very funny. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I did not know anything about that. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, but I don't know if that's the same Hun. 
army as no, no, a, it's no. not a bit no 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 it's yeah it's <laughs> no, in no, china no. yeah you don't yeah, get a lot yeah, yeah. of protestants in china do i don't you? think so no. i there wouldn't like to think about they them, called but... the germans that during the second world war yeah well, the actually. hans yeah, yeah they were the hans for a while as well all oh, right okay he's coming back to the I think it means enemy it? i think it means enemy basically right. like they de- derive from that or something i don't oh, right. really know or maybe like hungry for blood mm-hmm. yeah smart, anyway so it? in mulan they were fighting the demons <laughs> <laughs> mulan is sick i really recommend you watch it okay it's really good there's like new disney films that are banging there's one called turning red okay. which is so nice encanto highly recommend i've watched half of that because i've got a little niece and nephew in there yeah like, me to too me too that. i didn't watch it in the myself <laughs> Kids. Do you know what's really good? So, uh, no, it's not a Disney film, sorry. Go, it's all right. Doesn't matter. Be. Soul. Shutter Island. Soul is a Disney film. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's Disney. I thought it was like DreamWorks or something. Uh, uh, soul. Uh, uh, I was slightly uh, uh, disappointed uh, uh. with Soul. No, it was good. It was I good. thought it was all right, but... It's because you have no soul. You can't yeah, appreciate yeah. good yeah. art. Exactly. Yeah, it is good. I think I had it overhyped to me. Yeah. yeah I course. just have Disney Name films on when I'm at home, like all the time. I'm 32. I'm single. I'm morbidly obese. I'm just watching Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> like 20 times a week do you like um, the stage plays of these films yeah like, yeah i went to see seen... frozen the musical right lost my fucking mind it was incredible because everyone's like oh you want to see that loads of kids there it's like really expensive but like i make to rosie jones right so she calls up and gets the disabled seats so then you get these like amazing <laughs> views and me rosie my friend emma went it was incredible you put incredible. on a incredible oh, wow. no i get the carer space for free <laughs> <Fucking sick. laughs> and, um, and we were like all big musical theater fans like me rosie emma and we went to see frozen and we were just absolutely enchanted it was incredible. I went to see uh, a brand new piece of musical theatre <laughs> on uh, Thursday. Which one? Which one? one? Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh my God, how is that? How is that? How is that? How is that? <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I've had. Who's okay, playing I'm... the titular Mrs. Doubtfire? Some cunt, I didn't know, but good. Talented, talented Very, though. very talented. Uh, free ticket, so can't, can't... How'd you get a free ticket? Did you do a video my, for them? No, my agency owns the theatre. Of course. The Don. Don yeah, 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 yeah. The Don. Don. Fucking Sha- hell. Shaftesbury. Shaftesbury. So fucking cool. It's very good. Free I drinks. I want to go so badly. <laughs> Free drinks. How is the Scottish accent in it? Well, it's meant to be Mrs. Doubtfire's accent, which is, so it, it does a good impression of Mrs. Doubtfire, which isn't a good Scottish accent, mm-hmm. really. But it's it's Mrs. Doubtfire, mm-hmm. you know. Robin Williams, just because you are pals with Billy Conley doesn't mean you can do it. Ballet, Robin Williams. I'll give him a free pass. I'll give him a free pass on that. I love it when musicals, um, so like usually they're like Mrs. Doubtfire or like Frozen, like really fun, sort mm. of like wholesome, sort of like blah, blah, blah. But every now and again, like, you know, when theatres tried to go like, we're doing an edgy musical. And when I was working at the Royal National Theatre, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Um, they did a musical, <laughs> this is so awful, called London Road. And there's actually a film of it with Olivia Coleman in it. This is from ages ago. And it's a musical about the murders of the sex workers in Ipswich <laughs> in the early Fucking noughties. <laughs> and every song is based on verbatim interviews of people from Ipswich. Wow. And it is so Grim. fucking intense <laughs> I just don't think it should have been put to music no <laughs> I think if they'd known mad. that that was going to happen at the time they'd have maybe you know chosen their words a wee bit more carefully <laughs> yeah. or, you know, yeah. try a bit more rhythm, rhythm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's like this one song because like when you're working there like you sort of like hear the beginning of every show it's sort of like played out into the foyer right and it's like you automatically think it could be him you automatically think it could be him, and it's like this is fucking messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds intense. Yeah. Yeah. It is. When was this? This was like the noughties, yeah, so like two thousand nine. I don't think that would happen now, would it? No. It, no. Not with, not with that tone. I don't think. Not no. with that tone, but I reckon there's still those sort of like fringe performances going on. You know, people are like mm. we'll we'll take this subject and we'll set it to music <laughs> with a beat. <laughs> all quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> the musical. We're all rapping. <laughs> tunes are, tunes are, are pumping on the Western Front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turn up the volume on the Western Front. <laughs> <laughs> we've not even got to. We've done even. We should. I know. We should probably start now. 
think I should, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. should probably introduce our guest. <laughs> oh yeah, hi, my name's Helen. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Helen's a very funny comedian. Um, I can't believe you're actually introducing yeah, me now. I'm going to let you over first and over and over and over and over and over <laughs> Very funny comedian and podcaster. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. That's all we've got yeah, time for. I don't think we've asked you a single question. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was probably the worst. Effort. I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm, such a chatter. Yeah. I'm such a chatter. No, that's no, great. Is there anything that's you wrong. wanted to ask me? I'll answer it really quick. Uh, do you want to say any funny I've got one more stuff? I've got no. one more Alan Partridge question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the name of the old woman at the tills in Scissor Dial when he's working in Tesco? Oh my God. Um, are you packing? Um, you go careful there now, my love. Um, <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. Oh God. You go careful there now, my love. Um, Pat. No, is it? That's correct. Yes! Oh, he perfects the chat and scan uh, and he says, I'm even scanning faster than Tesco lifer, Pat Bevan. <laughs> 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 He's like they're in a fucking state of zen when they're doing yeah. their fucking usually on, mental agility usually um, only for fighter pilots. <laughs> oh, I so want to watch this a dial oh, again. It's fantastic. I might just go back and do that now. Yeah, it's the mm. best. Yeah, fucking sick. That's no, thanks for do. having me. Yeah, thank, thank you for you being so here so much. Sorry, we didn't do any of the questions. No, you can come back on I again had... and we'll interview you. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> okay. we didn't have oh, much to go, so it was good. Um, before you go, Helen, uh, we know that you have the very popular podcast, Trusty Hogs. What up? With yeah, I do. yourself yes. and Catherine Bohart. Yeah. What is Catherine? Is she a head girl? I'm giving, I'm, head girl, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't make, have two big yeah, yeah, That'd be sure. mental. <laughs> do you have... There's plenty of podcasts with just two big thickles. <laughs> 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 We've got one, yeah. We've got yeah. one. Yeah. We've got a separate one together. I are so lucky to have you, seriously. <laughs> thank you very much for saying that. Would well, uh, you thank him enough? We, we try we our best. Thank we you do, for yeah. editing and thank you for letting us... Being here and all yeah. Being your friend. There Don't was me, there was him. a couple of weeks when I was away in Australia, as you were. We never got to talk about that, uh, and it did uh, go to shit. Although it was pretty funny. Time. Chaotic no, I think you were there after, was away. after I me. Too. I was just Perth. You and... I was Perth, but oh, yeah. only for the last week, uh, like at the end of May. Ah uh, well. Anyway, but did yeah, you have a nice time? It was lovely. Yeah, really it's fun. Nice. But uh, I had to come back and save this podcast from burning <laughs> to the ground. I got it. Listen, got no, it. We, we, we got on fine. <laughs> they got confused. That there was one episode where they couldn't. They didn't know how to stop the printer from turning on and off. And the printer just kept just, I don't know why I'm being judgmental because I am the you of yeah. Trusty yeah. Hogs. So, like Catherine does everything, and I'm just like, what's up? Um, aside from that, do you have anything else to plug? You know what I actually do? Fringe. I actually do. Doing the last two weeks of Fringe mm. at the Monkey Barrel. Yes. And then I'm going on tour. Yes. <laughs> um, Any Scottish dates? Edinburgh and Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Just the classics. The do you know classics. what I mean? Hit, Where hit, hit done. <laughs> Stands. Do you know Stands. when, roughly? Yeah, sometime in autumn. Sweet. Yeah, probably October. September, November. God knows. You know? still now? Yeah, bloody hell they are. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd yeah. recommend... Yeah, I'd recommend, yeah, I'd you recommend. must come. There's a lot of Hitler chat in it. Yeah, at the moment there is. Mm. It's a bit of a concern. If you want to <laughs> learn about World War One, then go to that show. <laughs> and you can find me online. It's very easy because it's Bauer, the German spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> yeah, I used to work in Deutschland. For, <laughs> oh, I used to work for Bauer Media. Echt geil, wie war es? Ja, ja toll. Ja, mm, war richtig geil. We may geil. not be speaking German, but we're speaking for them. <laughs> ja. <Okay>. Ich, ich, <laughs> <laughs> eigentlich kann ich Deutsch reden. Mean, ich habe schon Deutsch geredet. Auch ich habe eine, ich rede auf der Bühne in Berlin. So komm an, fein. Bye-bye. So that's yeah. for the German We've got listeners. a lot of German listeners. We've got, ah. We actually do have a couple. Hallöchen, was los? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank no you worries. for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Before we go, as ever, please remember to like and subscribe on YouTube. Give us a five-star <laughs> review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And you can follow us at SomeLapPod on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. And send any questions to our email address, which is SomeLapPod at gmail.com. But until next time, guys. Until next time. We will speak to you later. See you later. (laughs) Bye. 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 Bye